Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special BA Insight session today. Today, we'll be talking about BA blocks, uh, and all will be revealed on what BA blocks is in just a moment. We'll take a few demonstration, uh, and then we'll ask some very specific questions from two experts that have been on the BA blocks training, and we'll have a uh, far more sound subject than I will, I'm sure. Um, but let's um, start with uh, with both of those, and actually, let's start with some introductions uh, with Henrietta first, if you don't mind, please. Hello, Jim. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Henrietta Nitsu, and I am a business analyst located in Bucharest, Romania. I have um, 27 years of work in life insurance and about 14 years of working as a business analyst. Thank you very much. Thank you, Henrietta. Okay, and welcome all the way from Romania. And to, to James. Hey, John. Thanks for having me again. Um, hey, Henrietta. Um, my name is James, and I am a business analyst as well. I've been a BA for the last seven years, and I've worked across different domains, such as um, corporate and business registries, life sciences, and most recently, I'm in energy. Um, I'm based in Dublin, in Ireland, and I'm really excited to be here. So thanks so much for the opportunity. Thank you, James. And thank you both again. And, and the reason you're both, of course, experts on the topic um, and can you give your insight uh, on this topic because you've both been through the BA Blocks training as well. Um, so in a short while, I'm gonna, I'll present my screen, share with people really what to expect on BA Blocks. Um, and then um, and we'll go into some questions on the topic as well. So let's start then perhaps by um, looking at really what is BA Blocks. Okay. So for anybody that, um, that registers for BA Blocks, um, effectively what you'll be able to do is there's plenty of information on the BA uh, on the FOGA website, which really gives you an introduction of the foundational business analysis, as we can see on screen. Okay, um, There are helps of uh, introductory videos and views on the syllabus, as well as information as to what is uh, business analysis as well. All right, Far more uh, insight and interesting information than I can provide a summary of I'll do a good job of a summary, I would say, in the few minutes we have. But uh, definitely plenty of resources to help the individual understand and become more proficient in business analysis. And from the, from the site, um, as you can probably see on the site there, you know, there is opportunity as well to look at, you know, what is on the course schedule to get a view as to, you know, some of the live workshops and some of the sessions that are going to be part of um, the, the syllabus as well as um, interacting with others on the course uh, through student chat or to follow some of the uh, activities and the role playing uh, through job shadowing and otherwise. Okay. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to stop that fairly brief glimpse at, um, at BA blocks um, and the foundation in business analysis for actually talking about some very specific questions with some people that have actually been on the session um, such as uh, James and Henrietta. All right, so let's uh, let's start with you both, and uh, and actually Henrietta, first question to you, if I may. Um, really, what is BA Blocks um, from your perspective, and uh, and how did uh, how did you register for it? Well, uh, BA Blocks is an e endorsed education provider that um, takes a unique approach to business analysis, unlike other platforms that might cover theory or general practices, BA Blocks is highly practical, which was a huge draw for me. They offer uh, this program, FOBA, Foundations of Business Analysis, which dives into both um, foundational and advanced BA skills in a way that's immediate, immediately applicable. The registration process was pretty straightforward for me. The website uh, it lays out everything, and I was particularly impressed by how clear and targeted the program information was. Uh, FOBA's emphasis on real-world skills stood out for me. It's tailored to bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and the specific tasks BAs perform in the day-to-day -day role. And this hands-on approach was exactly what I was looking for to expand my capabilities. Excellent. Thank you, Henrietta. And James? 
if I think you've covered the, the most part, uh, Henriette. Um, <laughs> to add on, I would say it's also a training platform or organization that it, it's not just for um, junior or aspiring, it's also for experienced business analyst professionals. So it's giving you the right skills and kind of techniques that you need to be able to work as a, a business analyst in um, a particular environments and you're using like a practical kind of real case world study which is really cool because I know some courses where you have to kind of think of your own kind of project or you might have to think of your own kind of process that you you might want to use but if you're coming in as like an aspiring BA um, you might know kind of what to do so Amal uh, Barrielli and Daniel Roberts um, they provide a lot of guidance and support throughout to give you this real world simulator project that everyone works on. So all course participants are doing the same thing. And it's like you're in a, a kind of a real uh, BA world, we'll say. So you're using like different kind of applications like Microsoft Teams, for example, you can see kind of uh, how different BAs are like kind of messaging each other or kind of what you need to do in terms of your deliverables. Um, you're learning key kind of skills like stakeholder management, stakeholder analysis, you're going through current state analysis, future state design, uh, gap analysis, user stories, wireframes, specs, data dictionaries, data models, everything that you kind of need as, as a BA to be able to succeed. But it also, there's a lot of training videos there on the platform, which gives you a lot of um, knowledge about like what it is that you're trying to do, but also then how do you apply that knowledge to the practical world scenario that you're working on? So I thought that was really cool because anyone that has the theory of being a business analyst working as a BA is completely different. It's never like black and white. So being able to take a real kind of world scenario and apply your theory to the practicality is, um, I, I thought that was really cool uh, in the course. And the, the practical side is, I think, where you get the most value. Yeah, I would agree with, with everything you both said. And, and it's really important to, to bridge that gap between the theory and the practical, which uh, from from being fortunate enough to to participate in some of the, the sessions and to be involved in it and have access to the site, I can definitely see, um, you know, there is that opportunity, as you say, James, for experienced or inexperienced BAs to uh, to get exactly what they need from it and to be able to walk away, I guess, with um, with the knowledge to be a BA or at least uh, to enhance their BA skills. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And I know, James, you touched on um, some of your experiences or some of the things that are available from the site. Um, I wonder, um, as well as sharing your experience of what to what's involved in BA Blocks, um, what can we can we learn from the the training and what and how is the training structured? Yeah, um, so it's a a twelve week course that um so like I said, it equips participants with the right or the key skills and techniques that you need to master the foundations of business analysis. So FOBA, that's the the main course that we did, and um, foundations of business analysis, and it gives um. Even if you're working as a BA, like an experienced BA, like myself, um, I went into the training program with a, an open mind to learning new kind of skills, but ways of thinking, because always I'm trying to be adaptable, um, especially for any kind of industry or domain that I'd work in or any project that I would be assigned to, that I'm always trying to think of, oh, oh how can I do things better or what other way could I, I don't know, create a process flow diagram or how do I use different analysis techniques that would help me so and again enhancing my skills um but it, there's a lot of different kind of uh, sessions so you have like these live sessions or group sessions i think they're called and um, with office hours where you can ask as many questions as you want with, um, about the course material but also questions about business analysis in itself so that's like one key thing i would say in this course is that you can ask any question through it doesn't have to be specifically related to the course. Amal and Danielle do a great job in providing a lot of support and guidance and they go out of their way to even help you um, get the answers that you need, even if it's not gonna be related to the course. So you're also learning additional things that might be a bit more, let's say senior level, uh, like you could be talking about a business case where in this course, you're not obviously looking at a business case, but it gives you that flexibility then. Um, and you have that support as like, a community forum where you can interact with different participants and you can ask your questions with them you can kind of communicate with them um and i would say yeah that's the, the nutshell it was a 12-week course there's different deliverables that you need to 
deliver um, at the end of the, the schedule, but you're not doing it where, say, for one particular deliverable, like a future state process flow, you have to submit on a particular date. You go through the whole entire course material, and then at the end, you have like one final deliverable that you submit, you get feedback, and then you get graded on. Excellent. Thank you very much, James. Uh, Henrietta, what would be your, your perspective on how you found it and structure? Uh, I, I see FOBA as a program that is building your skills progressively. Uh, the modules cover the key BA tasks like requirement gathering, process modeling, stakeholder analysis, as well as agile frameworks like Scrum and Kanban, and even waterfall methodology where applicable. Um, for example, the project we work on involves creating a recruitment module for a fictional company, Peterson and Baker, that involves multiple stakeholders. Each module is layered, so you start with foundational skills and then gradual, uh, gradually move into more complex tasks. And this structure makes it easier to build confidence and competence step by step. Uh, as uh, James already said, the course format has a mix of videos, case studies, assignments, which gives it an engaging and real world feel. You are not just sitting through lectures. You are actually shadowing business analysts in, uh, in different scenarios and then practicing those skills yourself. The assignments are substantial with each one producing deliverables like process maps, user stories, wireframes, which are real outputs that PAs work on every day. The idea is that at the end of FOBA, you have a portfolio of work products that, that mirror exactly what's expected in real, uh, uh, in real PA uh, roles. Uh, there's also the flexibility that you can complete the modules at your own pace while still benefiting from structured to learning. Plus, what I really, really, really like is the fact that the, the instructors are available for questions, which makes the course interactive and keeps you connected with others in the field. Yeah, I would agree. And, and, and the points you touch on there with relating both of you relate to that opportunity to reach out to Amal, to, Henry, uh, to, to Danielle, and ask you questions, whether they relate specifically to the course or to clarify some points or just BA questions in general, really is a, a, a positive way to not just learn, but also learn perhaps beyond what we would expect to learn on a conventional course as well, you know, and, and tailor it to your experience, whatever that may be as well. And, uh, and obviously, if I just pick on them out as an example, very experienced in business analysis, so, uh, so an excellent person to provide insight and share uh, learnings and knowledge um, on on business analysis as a topic um, and FOBA, of course. Okay, brilliant. Well, um, uh, another question. We'll start with you, Henrietta, on this one. In terms of how did the learning curriculum help you to improve or to deliver your own business an analysis capability? Well, I need a curriculum was a game changer, to be honest. I noticed immediate improvements in areas that are critical to PA work. For instance, um, the requirement gathering techniques for our teachers are precise and systematic, helping to minimize ambiguities in project deliverables. Stakeholder analysis and communication also saw a huge boost. For our provided structured approaches that made it easier to interpret stakeholder needs accurately, which has been incredibly valuable for managing expectations. And then there's the P3 skills stack framework, which BA blocks created to connect each skill to the broader context of business analysis. This framework and other theoretical models in the curriculum gave me a much more systematic way to approach tasks, leading to a better organization, more consistency, and a higher quality work. Instead of just following steps, I now have the strategic understanding behind each step, which has transformed 
how I approach projects and increase the impact of my work. Excellent. And I like the point about the strategic um, understanding and particularly the point about the expectations as well and helping you manage your own expectations or the expectations of the stakeholders that you work with. So it shows that you're just going beyond just the you know, delivering an activity or what, stepping through a task. It's actually what's the implication of that task and your outputs on the stakeholders around you. Exactly. Uh, James. Yeah, I think for me, like what I personally loved was how the course simplified complexity. Um, so the complex concepts or techniques that some business analysts might kind of shy away from, like data modeling, for example, entity relationship diagrams, um, they can become very kind of scary or technical. And the way that it's taught within FOBA uh, was really simplified and it, it made sense how you can kind of relate business rules to with how you go about defining the data, how you work with your different stakeholders to get the right requirements and kind of ask the right questions. Because sometimes when you're working as a BA, um, when you're working with technical teams, it's all technical terms and it's all kind of jargon. And you're like, whoa, database, this, that. But it gives you those kind of common terms that would make sense within data modeling and then how what you need to do as a business analyst to be able to guide um, stakeholders. So that has been a real kind of key um, thing taken away from the course because I was able to work better with the likes of like architects um, and more kind of technical people to not like design a database, but to give a conceptual level of uh, the different concepts that we're trying to create based off whatever the change would be. Um, so you're working on like a enhancement project and that's what you use as your, your real world kind of practical project in, in the course. And you need to see, okay, based off what currently exists as like our data model, what do we need to change? Like, what do we need to add? And then based off that, oh, what does that impact? Like in terms of processes and systems and people and the way things are currently in place in the current organization. So different ways of thinking, um, because sometimes when you're on a project, you kind of just start, you might jump into a particular area, but you're not seeing the bigger picture. So it's given that, like Henrietta said, that kind of P3 framework, people process products and how it all kind of maps and kind of aligns in, into one another. I would say as well, there is a key uh, technique that's it's simplified for me, BPNN, uh, diagrams of process modeling. So that again can be quite complex. And when you're trying to use it with different types of stakeholders that might be, let's say, familiar with the different kind of notation or the way it kind of looks. And um, when you're trying to talk through it, it can get very complex, but there is a simplified version that Amal and Danielle uh, introduced called rapid mapping, which is, I thought was really beneficial. So you can see exactly based off this process that we're trying to define for how it should work. What does the user do? What does the system do? And then from that, it, it can use functional decomposition to break it down into your functional and non-functional requirements, which then if you're in an agile environment, you can look and see how do you have your features and your user stories? And then how do you go about combining those using like use case analysis? So it, it was like a whole kind of like all these different jigsaw pieces all over the place. And then it came together as a picture. So that was really, really uh, beneficial for me. Excellent. And, and what really comes across there as well is that you know, it really does mimic that real life example where you are, you know, you have a series of, of steps and activities and considerations and there'll be questions arisen, arising that you need answers to. And you're going to different people to get those answers or to interact with them, like the architects, as you said, James, you know, all the technology team as well. So it really is an all encompassing way to get a good view of what business analysis is or could be uh, and ways to approach a situation in what is a, obviously a very safe environment to, to practice in and uh, and to hone your skills. So uh, excellent. Thank you both. Um, and I feel like you possibly touched on it a little bit there, but I'd like to ask uh, specifically, James, you know, was this an element that you found uh, most valuable from the session or most beneficial or even interesting, should we say? Let's say interesting or beneficial. I would say the support and the community forum that was enabled throughout the course. So the fact that you had people to, not only the instructors to ask questions, but you can just ask questions to anyone within the course and get their feedback. 
because there was different people said that like Henrietta has so much more years experience than I do uh, getting different people's opinions or perspectives on an area or even if you're say working uh, as a BA and you have your own kind of challenge you can then communicate and network with those people to then build a relationship and then to get an understanding of oh what do they think or am I missing something uh, or should I be using this technique instead or oh, should I be going around this kind of, should I be using this kind of approach in this situation? Or maybe I'm kind of slightly off here. So it's that kind of help and support that's true um, that, that I love because it was just, it enabled you to ask questions at any time and um, you, you get a quick response, like pretty fairly quick uh, within like a few days. Um, yeah. Excellent. And, and Henrietta? Well, I see I'm not the only one I it's exactly like James said, uh, from skills point of view, the most valuable was rapid mapping for requirements and processes. It's quick and an effective way to outline workflows, which saves you a lot of time and enhances clarity. And it's extremely, extremely uh, useful in dynamic projects uh, environments. It, for me, it was great to use it for engaging stakeholders visually in real time, showing them the process in a meeting and getting immediate feedback and buy-in. That was incredibly powerful. Rapid mapping has allowed me to adjust on the fly, which has been a big advantage in projects with very tight timelines. Overall, uh, this has made me much more effective at aligning stakeholders and troubleshooting inefficiencies, which are the key business analyst skills in any environment. And also the part with the communication with Emil and Daniel, their support throughout the entire course was outstanding, outstanding. And I, I really like the point around the rapid mapping because it's a good example, I think, of, of a really unique perspective that yeah. the BA blocks and the FOBA actually provide. I mean, I think there's plenty of merit in many, many training courses that are out there and many of them will point you in the right direction in terms of existing techniques or existing uh, or familiar approaches. Um, but I think what's really nice about this is that it's actually giving you a completely different perspective on how to uh, how to do your analysis and how to do your mapping of your process. You know, I also like the point that, that James made as well about the the support from the group that you're actually going through the session with. And I think that's, it's easy to, um, to, to not recognize perhaps the value in that because it's almost like really once you've signed up for the session and I should add actually probably at that point um, that um, there is a, a discount code for anybody who wants it at the end of the session. Um, but, uh, but for anyone that signs up to the session, it gives the, and the course it's that ongoing benefit from being part of that, that same intake of people you know, all with a common interest. Some of you will have a common level of experience and you have that ability, as James was pointing out, to sort of ask questions and probably mutually develop beyond the session itself. You know, so that, and that's nice to hear. And no doubt, James, probably build a few uh, long-lasting relationships that go beyond just swapping uh, questions and ideas on BA. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And I think as well, like the additional support, like Mal and Danielle are very supportive throughout uh, even though you're paying for like the training course, if you're struggling, like if you have your own kind of personal or professional problems going on, um, you can have them as support so you can reach out. And there, it's not like some training courses where you have like a specific deadline where you need to submit your deliverable. If you don't submit by that date, then that's it. You failed the module because uh, that's not really fair. Um, but they're completely supportive um, with any kind of uh, personal issues that you might have. Or if you're struggling with the course material, then um, they, they will go out their way to help you. And I think I really love that about the course. Yeah. And, and I mean, the, you, you call out a few areas there of support, James, which is, a, which is I think, another dimension entirely onto, onto the course in terms of that, that support you get from Amal, from Daniela and otherwise. You know, just to just to take things ideally at your own pace to be able to understand and be able to, to catch up with others if that's your way or potentially to get a little bit ahead because you might want to ask some more advanced questions that uh, uh, maybe some of the others in the class might not be ready to ask just yet. Okay. 
Uh, brilliant. No, excellent. And um, and I mean, you've obviously you've you've touched on support James as well. So I feel like uh, maybe it'd be a good opportunity to ask Henrietta um, uh, to to call out any specific support that you'd like to mention. I think it has been covered very well because in in the end, everything in the course is about a very structured mentorship, live Q and A sessions a community where you can discuss the concepts and the challenges with the peers and also with the mentors. So having this kind of guidance uh, is making a huge difference uh, for any participant in, in, in this program. Uh, Amal and Daniel are so responsive and so approachable that uh, it's impossible for you to fail. It's impossible for you to uh, end the, the, the program without any knowledge. They will do whatever it takes so that you can en enrich your skills and understand everything that is within the program. So th this is this responsiveness and this, this uh, way of them being so approachable is keeping the learning process very smooth and very reassuring. Yeah. And and it's it's something new. It's something that you will not find in other programs. Yeah, I agree. And, it, and I mean, it seems very much that I mean, we, we we've covered the the question around really what's what's valuable in terms of a valuable outcome, because we've talked about what's beneficial and of most interest as well. I think what's really key here is is recognizing that. Now, for participants that take part in these sessions and the training, they they really do leave the, the course with some actual very practical knowledge and feel and the confidence. I think to actually be able to put those skills into practice. You know, if it, if it's somebody perhaps looking to to join a course and get a certificate but not really understand the content, this isn't really a course for you. I don't think. I think this is more actually for the person that is really wants to learn really wants to develop their ba skills wants to ask questions and develop in whatever areas are appropriate to them the the, the foundation of business analysis through ba blocks really gives a uh, an excellent foundation to do that absolutely that? john and i think as well to add on like there is a three months post support um so you do have access to the platform still um, and you can still, like if you're going through, let's say you're revision, uh, revisiting uh, a particular module and you're like, oh, actually, I didn't quite understand what Amal meant there. Um, you can go back and you can ask questions and like Amal will be there for, for support and, and Danielle. Um, so you have that also uh, within the program. Yeah. Uh, and Henrietta made a point a little while ago as well about this, the, the portfolio of, uh, of, of your product portfolio, I think you called it Henrietta. Um, in terms of what your outputs are as well. So that's a, another dimension, another benefit to take away with people, uh, whether it's within them beyond the three months that James mentioned. So I feel like um, we, we've, I think between you, more, more than me, far more than me, in fact, you've given a, a really good overview um, of what to expect if people attend uh, the BA Blocks training or the foundation of business analysis that they provide. Um, I wondered... Um, to end, is there any last uh, additional points that you might want to share? Uh, and we'll start with Henrietta on that one. Well, for me, the biggest takeaway is confidence and clarity in my role. FOBA gave me a solid grounding in essential day skills from organizing requirements to effectively analyzing data and presenting insights. This has made me much more efficient with an approach that's both structured and adaptable. Now I am able to tackle projects with a very clear methodology that is producing deliverables aligned with business objectives, which has been invaluable in my daily work. And uh, for, um, sorry, I think it have to cut out this. That's right. No, no, I had an doing, idea uh, and I right. lost it. No problem at all. I mean, <laughs> sorry. I, I think you uh, have to cut it out. <laughs> that's all right. No problem at all. I, I had think, a thought yeah. and I, I left it. 
Uh, that's right. I think, Henry, you've done such a good job up till now of asking uh, so much about uh, BA Box <laughs> that uh, quite naturally um, you've probably run out of things to say because you've covered everything <laughs> already, which is uh, absolutely fine. Uh, for everybody, uh, if it's not obvious already, it's certainly difficult to be obvious, but uh, Henrietta, is, English isn't her first language, but uh, up till now has done a, and beyond, has done a brilliant job of speaking English uh, for us as well. So, um, it's no, it's no wonder, Henrietta, that uh, you, you've run out of things to say, but uh, it's not a problem at all. <laughs> uh, James, any any additional points for you to add? Yeah, I, I think as well. Uh, I don't think we touched on this, but the framework that's used, Odessa or Desa, I actually don't know how you pronounce it, but it's the onboarding, discovery, elaboration, support, and adoption. Um, so you touch on key elements. This is the framework that Amal had creates. Um, but when you're looking at onboarding, like when you do anything as a business analyst, you're doing stakeholder analysis, you're doing management discovery, you're looking at current state analysis, you're looking at future state design, gap analysis, then you're into like your user stories or your product backlog, your elaboration, you're elaborating on your requirements that you get from your future state design and your product backlog. So you're kind of breaking down your user stories, your use cases, you're looking at wireframes, data dictionaries, screen specifications, business rules. A lot of different kind of analysis techniques that you're doing there um, and then the support is kind of what happens after when something is implemented but by giving that whole framework within a, an IT service management world uh, you're also touching on like ITIL um, which is great to know some knowledge about and how that is work how that does uh, relate to different kind of um, industries because um, this is on a particular project that you are using but I thought that framework was really cool um, as well as there is a refund policy that I thought was um, really beneficial because I've never heard of any training platform or provider doing this before, but you can re receive a full refund even after attending your first class. Uh, even if you ask certain questions and you've received course materials and access to the platform, after attending your first class, you can get a full refund. Like let's say, oh, uh, you thought this was a good option in terms of progressing your career or enhancing your skills, but then, Instead, you might get some, let's say, funding for uh, a master's course um, as a degree. So you want to take that avenue instead. You can apply for a refund and straight away you, you will get um, your, your money back. Um, no questions asked, no nothing. So it's really, it's it's bring, it's bring giving value back to the community, but it's all about the support and how does Amal and Daniel support participants going through the course. Um, and I think that's why he only takes on so many like a limited amount of people so that he can provide the necessary support support to each of those participants. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely been very evident from what you said, James, and what Henry had to said as well. He's a, you know, the lessons they've, they've imparted upon yourselves, the framework, the structure that they've shared, you know, it, it is, it is very evident. I mean, just the sheer fact that you can call out the uh, DESA uh, framework, James, and be very specific on what it is, 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 uh, is a one of many examples, I'm sure, of uh, of the content that they provided. Brilliant. Well, I think uh, you've you've both done an, an excellent job of uh, sharing your insight, having both be on the sessions and the courses that BA Blocks offers. Um, so you've proved uh, beyond a doubt, of course, that uh, that um, you know it is valuable. I think to anybody out there, irrespective of their BA level as well. Um, so yeah, just really appreciate you both coming on, sharing your view. And uh, giving everybody a bit of a, a wider insight on um, you know, another excellent resource that's out there for BAs, um, whether they're potential or experienced BAs, to develop their uh, their BA capability. So I'd just like to thank you both again, uh, and I look forward to speaking to you next time um, on whether it's BA Insights or uh, some other BA community uh, event that we happen to be on. But I look forward to to seeing you anyway. Thanks so much, John. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you.